Today, I'm going to talk about how I went from a credit score of 600 to 750. Welcome back to Credit Card Wars Part 16. Today, I have my credit score versus the credit bureaus. It all started back in my early 20s. When you get a credit card when you're very young, you might do things that in hindsight are really stupid. For example, buying a brand new watch for your girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. That was a mistake. That led me down a path of a credit score of about 600. If you're in that situation like I was back in my early 20s, here are just some of the steps that you want to take today. It doesn't matter if you're 18, doesn't matter if you're 25 or 35. You need to work on your credit score now. The first steps that you want to take to improve to improve your credit score is this. Get a copy of your credit report. That's the first step. You need to look at the facts. You need to look at your credit report with your own eyes and face the music. That's the first step. A lot of this is psychological. What I recommend first is going to annualcreditreport.com. Annualcreditreport.com allows you to pull your three credit reports from the three bureaus once a year. Once you have the three credit reports in your hand, you can physically see what is happening. So that's the first step. The first step is get a good grasp of what the problem is on your credit report. The second thing I would highly recommend doing is getting a good idea what your credit score is. Some of you might already know your credit score, but some of you might not know. And there are also some free sites. So outside of some credit card websites that give you your credit score for free, I would recommend going to any one of these three. Credit.com, Creditkarma.com, and finally Creditsesame.com. Those three places are pretty much free and they give you kind of a rough estimate of what your score is. So once you have now your credit report and your credit score, now it's time to get down to business. There isn't any shortcuts to raising your score. There isn't. If you're watching this video for a quick fix, then you're at the wrong place. What you need to do is address the derogatory items on your report. So let's do some random examples. So let's talk about my watch that I bought from my ex-girlfriend. That watch, I kind of dragged it on in my college days and didn't pay off that Discover card from what I remember. So Discover wasn't gonna let that go. They they kept that in report. So the first step you gotta do is physically pick up your phone and call the number that's on the credit report. You can actually call the creditors and in certain situations, the creditors, they're playing a numbers game. They've already taken the balance, tacked out a bunch of interest, a bunch of lay fees, so there's a lot of wiggle room. When you call them, you might be able to negotiate your balance down. So that's kind of like the first step I would recommend for every one of your credit delinquencies or derogatory remarks. Call and negotiate. Step two is this. If there is an item on your report that's negative and for some reason you don't remember it, you choose not to remember it, what you can do is the credit bureaus legally have to give you the ability to appeal. So right now everything is done online. You can actually go in to each one of the credit bureaus and open up a case. Once you physically open up a case, and give the credit bureaus what they're looking for information wise, they are legally required to reach out to that credit card, uh, that derogatory issuer and get the facts straight. That company that's reporting you will need to, in, in a certain period of time, usually it's 30 days or less, they have to write back, they have to communicate back to the credit bureau and give the credit bureau enough facts to, to keep that on your report. So this is where you can kind of play this game where you can keep opening up these cases on these negative items in your report. The credit bureau now has to go and communicate within 30 days and get relevant information or they'll have to drop it off your report. 
Step three, you're not gonna want to hear it. That's why you guys are listening to me because you're listening to things that you don't want to hear. You have to now begin to pay your bills on time. I know it's simple, but that's the honest truth. It might seem like, wow, I, I need to buy a house tomorrow. You're not buying a house tomorrow with your low credit score. You're not gonna get a Chase Sapphire Reserve card with your low credit score tomorrow. So stop thinking about these fantasies and start paying your bills on time. What you're gonna see very, very slowly is outside of things that are negative, outside of you trying to deal with your balances that you negotiated, you have to rebuild by paying your current items on time. So that's the first step that will get you back on the track. A lot of people don't talk about this. All banks will not trust you, but all banks will try to make money from you. So there are prepaid credit cards. I actually have one in here where you can go to the bank. Let's choose an example, Bank of America. I went to the bank a long time ago and I gave $2,000. The bank took that 2,000 and they, they took the money. Then they gave me a credit card that was for a $2,000 credit limit. You might want to consider going to your local bank and opening up a prepaid card because that prepaid card will act almost like a regular credit card. Not only will it help you build your credit history, but within the bank, after a period of time, the bank might trust you after maybe 12 months, 24 months, where they will give you back your original amount, 2000 in my case, and now you have that credit card with that balance. So again, you are watching this because you might be in a credit situation. What you want to think about is that the game of credit and the game of life, it's long term. It's forever until you're dead, of course. You're going to need a good credit score to do good things. If you're building a business, like me, the bank will not even walk into your business unless you have a credit score of 700. Put these credit cards aside, but I'm talking about a loan. If you want a line of credit from the bank, if you want a credit card, a business credit card, if you want the bank to come in and take you seriously, the bank again doesn't trust you. So what they're gonna ask they're not going to ask about your story, how you started in your basement and you're on a journey. They're going to look at, hey, let's look at your credit score. That's the first thing they're going to look at. If you're at 700 below, you're going to have a rough time. The reason why you want to start working on your credit right now today is because for you to unlock the magic, the magic of these credit cards, points, free cash advances, there are so many perks when you start climbing the ladder of these credit cards. If you guys have any credit card or credit related issues or questions, make sure you guys leave it below. If you guys like my credit card war series, like it and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for credit card wars part 17.